What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you guys another video on the HP Pavilion. I've not actually done a video like this, because I've never done an actual sport kind of game. Uh, so I am doing NBA 2K uh, 2021, this is the 2021 uh, version of the game. I was going to do 2023, but uh, I'm going to just do 20 2021 was a bit uh, was one of my more favorite ones. I was, I was playing it on the uh, Xbox One when it uh, first came out. And everything like that so um, I just wanted to show you guys how the game ran on the HP pavilion I couldn't really find the graphics settings so I don't know if they really actually have settings or it's capped or anything like that um, but we do get the constant 60 FPS and mainly obviously the game looked amazing on the HP pavilion no issues no stutters no delays and I was you know free to play the game with no issues at all so this is just another um, video showing you guys how well the HP pavilion even in 2023 after all these years you know it's got a 1650 uh, graphics card 16 gigs of RAM, uh, that's not standard, you have to upgrade that, it comes with standard 8 gigabytes, um, and an i5-9300 CPU, and that's still playing games just fine, um, I will be definitely doing a test on Resident Evil 4 when it comes out in March, the remake, um, and uh, we'll be doing more videos on that too, as well as, you know, tests on it and everything like that. That being said, guys, this, again, this is another game down on the list uh, that you have no issues playing, so if you guys are big sports fans and like playing the... NBA games or uh, Madden or anything like that. Uh, the HP Pavilion has no issues playing them whatsoever. I ran into no delays or anything, and I uh, caught myself playing a little too long. <laughs> I played <laughs> played for 30 minutes to an hour and just kept playing and playing and playing. Uh, it brought me back to uh, on the Xbox One days when I was playing. That being said, guys, again, another game down. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave me down. Uh, leave me some questions down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible uh, so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and again remember to like and subscribe see you, see you guys later i have to shoot lakers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far and as he's aged in the league anthony davis's offense has changed it now much more of a face-up player well and that's where his game's been headed his shot has improved, and he can step out to the three, facing up and letting him use his burst. Let's him maximize what he can do. And the first one drops. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. That one misses. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, uh, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. And it's good for two. Oh, nice look by Bradley, moving it to the open man. For Miami, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Down low. Autobio with the bucket. Nice pass. I mean, putting in work on the interior. Gotta love it. McGee inside. Autobio on him. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And that's a gift if I've ever seen one. They've got to communicate much better out there. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. None passes to Butler. No good on the three. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Here's James. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Butler. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Uh, what a polished player Butler is, using strong fundamentals to get the job done. Here's McGee. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. <laughs> yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Back to none. 
A floater, and the layup is up and in. Time out, time out. And this is the level of unselfishness that Butler brings, a total pro who moves the ball well. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And, and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to franchise player in the course of four seasons. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. The Heat leading by four. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him and they had to juggle multiple stars. But man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. <laughs> It's Crowder on the wing. He's guarded by Howard. Morris against Dragic. Excellent D from Howard. And, and already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Outside for Rondo. To the wing right side. Shoots over Olenek. And again, no good by the Lakers. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Oh, and, and squaring up is Iguodala. Nice follow-through on the release. Lakers trail by nine. Caldwell Poe passes to Morris. To stop the run. Howard finds Morris. That one goes in. And a nice job here early of establishing.